Introduction to Spreadsheets. Introduction to Spreadsheets. <clears throat> Objective one, uh, create a spreadsheet model or template. Two, enter formulas. Three, fill the formulas. Um, objective one, create a spreadsheet model or template. The technology we'll use throughout this course to enhance your, our explorations of quantitative literacy involve the use of spreadsheets, um, entering information into spreadsheets and navigating the to toolbars, and the menu. And the menu options are important skills. We will also design spreadsheets used by using separate cells for inputs and outputs and format them appropriately. Okay. Now when you open Excel, it gives you a blank workbook. It says book one at the top. Um, you can think of a worksheet as a three-wing binder that contains worksheets. Okay. At the bottom of, at the bottom of each worksheet, there's a tab. And that's a sheet there. And they call it sheet one. And if you double click on this, uh, if you double click on this worksheet here, you can actually rename it. So if I double click on this sheet one here, I can rename it. Like for example, I could rename it sales. <clears throat> now you can click on this plus button and add another worksheet. Okay. And across the top of the spreadsheet, here's a ribbon, okay, which consists of menus or tabs. Um, whose names are given at the top. You see file, home, insert, page layout, formulas, data review, and view. And you can see a picture of one there. <clears throat> and if you click on the home tab, and if I double click on it there, You can see everything associated with the this, into groups here for clipboard font modify the put on the, copy and paste with the clipboard for, modify the fonts you have alignments for text and formatting the cells uh, percent and decimal styles cells editing those are all um, groups group sub groups that are part of the uh, home menu Let's begin by entering information to our spreadsheet as shown here. Okay. Now, a spreadsheet consists of cells. You see there. Labeled by the row and the number. And you can see right here. And then the name box gives the name of that particular cell. If I click on this here. It gives the, the name, the location of that cell, which is at D7. The location of this cell here is at B. See, B is highlighted in over at 3. So you see the name of the cells right there. And the name of this first cell here is A A1. Okay. Now, what we can begin here by creating a sales order form. We'll start by um, saving the file and re renaming it. <clears throat> hmm. 
So I'm saving it as sales order form. And you see at the top here, it renamed it as sales order form. Okay. So then where it used to say book one, now it says sale order form. Mm -hmm. So now they want to go ahead and create. So now they want to go ahead. So it says in here, click on cell B2. So there's B and that's two. So we'll select B2 here. And type in the word item. And you press enter. Okay. Then we can um, press enter after each one and fill it in. Soda. And enter. And water. Enter. Popcorn, enter. Cookie, enter. And hot dog. Enter. And click on cell C2. That's cell C2. And type in the word quantity. And this time hit tab button so you can tab over. So you can tab, you move right, and then you can type in uh, mm -hmm. and type in cost per item. Press the tab button again and type in cost. And now we're at it too. And hit the tab button again. Notice here how it's over it's overhanging. What you can do is come up here like this, there, and expand it over. There. So now you can see everything. <coughs> mm -hmm. Now you can enter prices here, cost per item. Okay, so you come to the cells here, D3, and the cost of the items. One. So it'll cost one dollar. Enter in D4. Uh, type in 1.25. And then, okay. Hit enter. 1.5 hit enter 0 0.5 hit enter and 2 
to press enter again. And press enter again and type in subtotal with D9. Type in tax at eight percent. Hmm. So in here you want to edit it. So you can come up here and hit a space button there. And then I can hit enter. And I can type in total. Mm -hmm. And so D11. Uh, you're almost done. You can finish uh, with a quick formatting choice. Uh, Make the words in row two bold. Mm -hmm. So I selected everything and I hit the bold button there. So that bolded everything. from okay B2 to E2 there mm -hmm. let's go to the next one here So let's go ahead and finish formatting this stuff. So I, I selected on those. So I'm going to come over here. I selected those. And I want to bold those as well. So I bold those here. Okay. And I want to format this. I have the cost here. I want to treat them like they were money. So I want to do the formatting on those. So click on it. And that form clicked on that, went to accounting, clicked on the dollar sign, and it changed it to money. So now any calculations I do with them, the output is going to be in, in money. So basically here, uh, when you click on the cell, there's three different things you can get the thick white plus sign here. That's how you select a cell with the plus sign. Okay. And if you right click on it, it gives you options after you, after you select it. Click and drag means to hold it down. Okay. <clears throat> the other one here is a weather vane. Okay. This allows you to drag that cell to another location. So let's say that and I put a four there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 
I'm going to click on it. Let's see here. There it is. Uh, where is it? See how it looks like a weather vane? It's right on the edge of it. So if I click on that and I drag it here, it moves it. So when it's in a weather vane like this here, and I click on it now, I can drag it to different locations. Okay. Now, when it's, so I did that by going to that right there in the center. It changed to a weather vane. If I come over to this right corner here with the cell, and I click on it and I drag it, it'll fill it. If I click on this cell and I do this here and wait to where it's just a regular plus like that, and now I click on it, I drag it, it fills it. Okay. So that plus sign there allows you to fill the con fill the contest when you click and drag over. So the selection here is just comes from the, the big plus sign to select a cell. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pause that out. Okay. Uh, the ribbon here provides a nice shortcuts to use a format of spreadsheet. You can format it in different three different ways. Um, you click on the dollar sign to format it. There you see the dollar sign. Um, you can select highlight the cell. Highlight the cell and then click on the format for it there. Mm -hmm. Or you can right click on it. And click on format cells you can format it using that way to format it okay. or you can click on the, the arrow next to the number here so in the bottom you can click on this little arrow here you can get to that too so there's different ways you can use to format the cell. Okay, and let's see here. If I click on that, I bold it. Now, you can also change the background of the cells here. Pick a color. Mm -hmm. and then you can come back over here and drag and fill it. Let's see here. That didn't work. Let's try this way. plus there now when you do the plus thing here like this what happens is that it cop it, it drag and fills all the properties that are in that cell and it uh, applies them to any cell you drag it over so in this case here um, it was a yellow background so it dragged it applied those properties to cell other cells when you drag it over and fill it So if I do it again here and I want to format it a different color, oh, let me change that again. I thought that was green. There. So I'm going to come over and click on it. If I want to apply the properties of this cell and drag it down, I can come over here to where it turns into a plus. Now, if I click on it and, and drag and fill it, it apply those properties to other cells, like that. And I can do it again here. And 
then I come over here to that plus drag and fill it so it applies those properties to other cells had it been a formula in there it would have applied the formula to those other cells 